I abstain from sex because I don't lay down with men. I wouldn't want to be the father of my children. I don't lay down with men that are emotionally unavailable. I don't lay down with men who don't just straight up respect and value my time and me as a person. I mean, either way, you guys are going to be mad because I'm going to continue to use my platform to inspire women to keep their legs closed until they find someone that's really worth laying down with and doing such a vulnerable act with. I abstain from sex because I don't lay down with men. I wouldn't want to be the father of my children. I I don't. Well, this kind of, I mean, this, I perhaps goes back to our conversation about like men being P words for wanting virgins. I'm glad we only have five minutes to talk about this. I mean, I, these are, it's just, it's just, look, we already talked about it, but it's just another video where it's like, on one hand, you're advocating women abstain from sex, don't have sex, ergo, you're going to have a low body count, or you might even be a virgin, but also men bad for wanting virgins. No, I'm just telling women, I'm just trying to encourage them to be smart. Cause I think a lot of the times, I think all women can admit if they lay down everyone, if they did a list of every single guy they been with, maybe not every single woman that's, I can't put everyone mm-hmm. in a box, but if sure. you were to make a list of all the guys you've ever been with, how many of those were one deserving and two, were you enthusiastic to actually sleeping with going back to what she was saying, mm-hmm. being in a room with a man, okay. I understand like how she's saying there's a power struggle because a lot of men get sex because they're just keep like, come on, come on, come on, come on. And even though maybe it's not the R word, but it's just, you're not getting a yes the first time. You're not getting an enthusiastic response. You're just. Yeah. It's really, it's really weird though, because like, I, I agree with your messaging here. Right. But I don't agree with the conclusion. That's that like, that's where we're getting, we're getting hung up. But I th- like your message is women. You said in this clip, ladies, keep your legs closed. Right. Yeah. It seems like that's yeah, that seems like a good message. But if they're keeping their legs closed, then they're not having sex with men. If they're not having sex with men. They're going to have very low body counts. They have very low body counts. Then men are going to now, If all women followed your advice, in other words, let's try it this way. If all women followed your advice, all women would have way, way, way lower body counts, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, they chose to go all, to so then all of the men who are attracted to all of those women would be PDF? I think it's more so just like, I, because a lot of people assume based off my videos, oh, since you speak like this, you must, you know, Ben Rantham, you must have 100 bodies, you must do this and that. And that's just not my personal experience, you know? But I'm trying to encourage women that maybe have been more... I guess sexually liberated however you want to put it i'm just encouraging them maybe because i don't see a lot of i what comes up on my feet and maybe it's just because i'm I don't so know, aren't you encouraging all women to do this yes i'm encouraging all women to do this but i'm saying you know even if even if say a woman has a hundred bodies maybe yeah. from this point forward start making better decisions yeah no i get that i agree with that but you're also so I, I don't encouraging think a woman women is... who have zero bodies to also keep their legs closed unless it's for the right guy. Correct. Right? Correct. But I'm, but my thing is regardless if a woman has a hundred or zero, I don't think that, it, I don't think the one with zero holds more value than the one with a hundred. That's just. Yeah. Yeah. My... But the thing is, is like, that's not even what I'm saying, whether or not you think they hold more value or not from a man's perspective, they could to the man. Okay. Right. You agree with that? Yes. So if to the man's perspective, they hold more value because they're virgins, what in the fucking world could be wrong with that? I was just, like I said, it's going to keep going in a circle, but I was just responding to the hundreds and hundreds of comments of a man telling me because I'm spreading a message saying, ladies, don't give it up. And they're telling me, you know what? You have no room to speak because you're not a virgin. Really? I don't, I don't, I shouldn't yeah, I'm sure be able to give my opinion because yeah, yeah. I've had sex. I'm, I'm so sure. that's, that's yeah. why I said what I said. Because yeah, I know, but it just, to be quiet because I, I get it. Before. I get, I get what you're saying. I agree with the heart of the message. I really do. Okay. I just don't really agree with the conclusion that this means that men are bad if they're attracted to women it's, with, with lower body counts or if they want, if they desire that. It's not about being attracted. It's about telling a woman she has no value if she's not a virgin. You're not going to But what if they you. don't have any value to you if they're not? What if they don't have any value? Well, then, I mean, 
<laughs> you know, I there's nothing I can really say on that. I feel like I said my piece, but I'm just saying, you know, that's that's fine. You want I just think it's weird. I do. I must still stand by the fact that I think it's weird that a man could sleep with over 100 women and then he wants a virgin. I what think if he only what if he slept with 100 women and they were all virgins based? Uh, well, Good I think I think one of those hundreds like is lying. <laughs> Okay, well, what if he slept with 30 and they were all virgins? Well, and he knew for sure that all of them were telling the truth. Would he be in the clear then? Um, I mean, some men, there's got to be some man who has sex with these women the first time, right? I mean, that's yes, going to happen. Course. Of course. But it seems, it seems like kind of your only argument is like, but he shouldn't only want to. And that's, what I, that's I guess, where all the confusion is for everybody. It's like... Um, why not though? Because somebody somebody's going to have sex with them to, and right. th whether they're married or not, in order to take care of this, uh, you know, virginity thing, right? That's that's going to happen. Yes. So if there's men who that's all, that's what they desire. I don't I don't actually understand why that's problematic. That's that's the thing that is bizarre about it. Yeah. Well, I just I can't take back what I said. I can't. I. Well, you don't, don't have to take it back, but can't you, can't you, can't, can't you just kind of modify the position so it makes more sense? Like maybe the position could be this, could be, I understand <clears throat> that there are men <clears throat> who value a lower body count and value virginity and chastity in women. And there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, my advice is just across the board that the less promiscuous you are, the better the outcomes are. That's just adjusting the position. That's not even that's not even really taking back what you said. It's just adjusting the position so it makes sense, right? Yes, but I still believe I, maybe I overgeneralize, but I still believe there are a good amount of men that are pushing P. What the fuck? Yeah, I think there's a good amount of women who do that too. Dude, and don't I, type I me. agree. Don't I type. agree with that. Yeah, I know. So I, I mean, if that's the case, then then I. It's the correlate that's the problem. I think that most most men value chastity in women. I think that that's a super valuable thing. You clearly do too. That's why you tell women to be chaste because it's value. The sexual intercourse valuable, right? Yes. Yeah. So I mean, if that's the case, then it seems like you're in total agreement that men value it and women have the gatekeep key to it, and so it's super valuable. So don't just give it away, right? Men are saying the same thing because they value it. It's like, I, I, you, can, you can reconcile these positions so easily by just saying it's okay. It's okay to value that. I'm not, I don't think it's wrong to value, I'm not, it, but men are not under the comments saying, oh, I just like really value a woman that, that they're not talking like that. So if- um, Yeah, but they might not so express talk themselves to me nice. nearly. Well, well maybe yeah. I'm not expressing myself in the nicest but way. I agree, you. I think you're not, and that's why I'm trying to help the position because I agree with the heart of what you're saying. Right. That's why I'm like, if you could just modify the position slightly, uh, it would suddenly make a lot more sense to everybody. And I think that that's basically what you believe. You think that sex is valuable. It's a valuable tool for women. Mm -hmm. They're the gatekeepers to the sex. Men value women with lower body counts. So they're going to value you more if you're not giving them sex. That totally makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. It's just like all you have to do to kind of drive it home to, to get across that finish line is saying it's perfectly OK if men value women with low body counts or virginity. That's, that just makes total sense. Okay. Wait, yeah, so just all. to be clear, are men P words for preferring women who are virgins? Not all. But okay, I, do I don't think know if she's, I don't think I she's I just conceded. still think, but my, my stance is still there are P word men. And they yes, there, say that yes, they there say are those, men. they make those type of comments because they were eager to tell on themselves in the comment section. So I mean, okay, that, well, let me, let me thing. just rephrase just real quick. But so not, no, understand. not all men are, are pushing P because they value yeah. low body counts or virgins, but it gives you P word. No, not every, I, I understand even when a man is dealing with me, like a lot of men, that's why, too, I don't really date because I'm not trying to, you know, like, to my own horn, but I feel like any time I try to talk to a guy just to be on some, like, you know, friends, I'm not really, I just got out of an eight-year relationship. I'm not looking for a serious anything. Um, I'm not even sure if I want to take it to the next level of having sure. sex or anything. I just think that it's like you only want, well, I guess, I don't know. It's just, 
I feel like you, I understand that they want to, I guess, wife me because they're think, oh, well, you were in an eight-year relationship. You have a low body count. Andrew, yeah. your, your question, and then I do have to move it on. Go ahead. Okay, just very quickly. You would agree with me that all dogs have tails, right? Yes. Okay. Does that mean that all animals with tails are dogs? No. Okay, great. So then we can agree that some men are P words, right? Yes, and I agree that not all men are. I, uh, that was a blanket statement, and I shouldn't have generalized it so okay. much. But I do think there still are men. I, I do feel like the men that took yeah, but there role. are but there are dogs, right? And this is this is the same type of argument. That's why I'm saying is like, look, I'm just saying that if you if you agree that men, it's perfectly reasonable for men to desire virgins or women with low body count. I think that that reconciles the entire position. You don't even have to explain it anymore. Like, I think you just get overwhelming agreement from people. Mm -hmm. 